Hey guys, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. Today we're here at Palos Verdes, California, enjoying the incredible ocean views and about to tour this newly constructed modern home right behind me. This home has five bedrooms, eight baths, 7,434 square feet of interior space built on a 20,296 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $9,888,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agent, Lily Liang, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Now let's begin. From the street level, we have the driveway bringing us to right here where we have the gates and gates are opening up to this spacious motor court. House is nicely set back from the street as well, nice and private. We have the perimeter walls all around. This is the main walkway from the street level that brings you to the property. Right here, we have the three car garage and the garage doors are nicely clad with this wood finish. And overall, house has a really nice coastal modern architecture. We have some stacked stone finish on the columns, smooth stucco all around, beautiful roof lines, copper gutters, and this glass entry right here. Let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. It's nice and spacious. We have a beautiful chandelier above, but most importantly, as soon as you walk into this property, you're ahead head on with the incredible views of the ocean, Santa Monica, all the way to Malibu on a clear day. Now, on each side of me, we have some seating areas. I'm gonna start with the left where we have the formal living room. We have the same stone floors carried out to this space as well. Piano set up right here. Gas fireplace right in the center. Some built-ins with LED lighting, a little bit of a seating area. Another thing that I really like in this house, even this side of the home, these walls are all open so you can appreciate all the ocean views, city views that we get from this property. Now, going to the other side, we have an additional seating area right here, same stones, pretty much the same size. Even right here, you get a gas fireplace, some built-ins because this is kind of like your library space. A lot of these casement windows on the back and on this side bring a ton of natural light to this property. Overall, it's a nice, warm, welcoming space as you walk into the house. Now, let's take these stairs and go down to this level. On this level, we have a formal dining room area, a bit of a seating area on that side, and this massive opening right here which is the staircase going down to the lower level. So what's nice about this area is that we have vaulted ceilings here with six massive skylights, bringing a ton of natural light to this level as well as the lower level. That's why they have this space with a big opening to allow all that natural light to go down to the lower level. Now, let's go to the other side. We have the formal dining room area here. But before we talk about this section, let's take this hallway and continue our tour. Right here, we have the elevator access on this level going down. And as we continue around the corner, we have a hallway closet right here, window, and this door opens up to the powder room. We have a nice dark tone vanity set up with marble countertops, marble mosaic back wall, and you even get one of these fancy toilets that welcomes you as you walk into the powder room. Lastly, at the end, we have the door leading us to the three car garage that opens up to the motor car. Now, let's go back to the hallway and talk about the dining room area. This dining room area is very spacious. We have a beautiful table for 10, gorgeous chandelier above. Like I mentioned, this space is all open and even from your formal dining room, you enjoy the amazing views. We also got some built-in cabinetry here, extra storage with this massive window assembly, bringing natural light to this side. Right here, you get your wine fridge. Again, great dining area where you can enjoy the views. Now, as we continue, on this side of the home, we have the kitchen and a family room. What I love about this space is how open it is. We have these glass doors opening up to the patio space where we have the incredible views. It's nice and spacious. We have the comfortable seating here. And of course, no family room is complete without a linear gas fireplace 
beautifully clad with stonework. Right above, you have your TV wiring for your future TV. And lastly, we have this hip ceiling design that makes the space feel a little bit more spacious. Lastly, I wanted to mention, as you walk into the property on the second floor, we have three elevations. We have the entry level, which is the highest, and we have this middle section right here. And lastly, we have the lower section right here where we have the family room and kitchen. This really helps each room to define itself and kind of structure this whole second floor of this home. Now, right on the other side, we have the kitchen. Beautiful walnut cabinetry throughout. We have a massive island design right in the center. Skylights are bringing natural light. Pendant lights right above the island. And before we cover this side of the kitchen, I wanna talk about right here. You kinda of have this service area for your formal dining room. Beautiful cabinetry. This is my favorite, I have to show this. Dishwasher drawer. These are nice amenity to have. Marble countertops, fabricated sink, and I really like that they have this opening here. You can see the formal dining room from your kitchen. Now, right here we have the open pantry, and right behind me we have the paneled freezer, fridge, with fridge or freezer drawers right below, beautifully paneled in. And as we continue, this is where we have the massive island setup, comfortable seating on the other side, and I like the dual elevation difference right here where they clad the bar setup with the same walnut. Beautiful marble countertops. Let's get a close up right here. We have the Thermador dishwasher. Of course, your sink with a nice separation. I've never seen a detail like this before. I feel like when we have a separation like this, it's generally a little bit more wider. In this case, they have this sharp line in between. Pretty unique and uh, of course, chrome fixtures throughout. As we continue more cabinetry here and right behind me, we have more base cabinets. 60 inch Thermador gas stove. So this is a bit of an upgrade. Lastly, we have a beautiful marble backsplash with a pot filler, vent above. And as we continue, we have more uppers, some open shelving. Actually, Mikey, can we get a close up? We have more refrigerated drawers right here. I wanted to mention that as well. And lastly, on this side, we have more built-ins, espresso maker, microwave, and right here, another dining area off of the kitchen. Overall, it's a great space. I love the family room and the kitchen that is all open. But now, let's go outside. We have the Fleetwood doors stacked on each side, opening up to this patio space. We have limestone floors throughout the entire patio. And on my right-hand side, we have the built-in barbecue setup here. As we continue, we can actually see the overhang design for the roof line. It's beautifully clad with the mahogany. And right here, we have the first stacking glass doors opening up from the family room. And right here is where we have the second opening. Again, family room beautifully flows into the patio space. Now let's talk about these incredible views. We're in Palos Verdes and this property is all about these amazing views. From the ocean all the way to downtown Los Angeles in a clear day, you see everything from here. And that's what makes this property so special. And that wraps our tour on this level. Now let's go downstairs, check out all the bedrooms and the incredible pool area. All right, everyone, let's go check out the first floor of this home. We have the same limestone floors also here. This massive landing with the skylights from the second floor bringing a ton of natural light to this level. Now, let's go to the back first. Right here, we have three guest suites, wine cellar, and a movie theater. But first, we're gonna take this hallway, and this first door right here opens up to the first guest suite. We have the same European oak hardwood floors also in this bedroom, built-in closet on that side. Everything is pre-wired already for your future TV. And as we go in, this is where we have the bathroom. Nice tile floors, and the same tile is also used as a back wall. Beautiful vanity with the marble countertops. I actually really like this uh, shower design right here where they use so many different kinds of materials. They have the same stone on the floors, marble sill, and this back tile goes inside with a glass mosaic tile and more marble. I feel like they use a lot of different materials and somehow they pulled it off. Yeah, I love that blue color. I also like the uh, the handles they have on the vanity. Those are those are kind of a unique shape, you know? Mikey, are you talking about the cabinet handles or the wool faucet? Uh, I like them both, but I was talking about the cabinet handles actually. Yeah, I kind of feel like I got a little confused, but yeah, they're pretty unique. I like them too. All right, let's go back out to the hallway and go toward the bedroom right next door. This is where we have the second bedroom, same oak hardwood floors, two windows, 
bring in a ton of natural light, built-in closet. I also like the high ceilings on this level. And lastly, going in, this is where we have the full bathroom, stone floors with this inlay design. And it, the same materials also go into the walk-in shower with nice chrome fixtures, handheld over there. And lastly, vanity design right here. Now, let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour. Now, we have a powder room right here. Pretty straightforward, same stone floors, vessel sink, floating vanity. And I really like this mosaic design that they have with the tile right here. Also, I just realized, let's pan up to the ceiling. They did a nice crown molding detail. And then one of these fancy toilets, you know, they welcome you. Those so, things always kind of freak me out. They, they uh, <laughs> just come out of nowhere and they just pop over. I know. Well, you have them. There you go. Yeah. Now, let's go in. 500 bottle wine cellar right here. Beautifully clad with woodwork. We have some base cabinets here with a nice stone countertop. Overall, good use of space because it's right below the landing of the second floor. Now, as we go out, let's go through the hallway first before we go into the movie theater. Right here, we have the laundry room. Pretty straightforward. We have plenty of base cabinets and upper cabinets. Same walnut cabinetry. You get a sink, mosaic tile wraps around the entire back, stack washer and dryer, and you even get a window assembly here for some ventilation. Now, lastly, as we follow the hallway, Elevator access on the lower level and this door opens up to the last guest suite on this side with its own full bathroom vanity design. Now, let's go back and check out this door right here where we have the movie theater. We have eight leather recliner chairs on this side. Nice comfortable room, no windows, and we have the built-in speakers actually throughout the entire space, but they're paneled in nicely behind these linen walls. Nice cold lighting detail. Of course, we have the screen right here with a curtain and wall sconces. You know, you know what we got on the uh, projector here in us? Yes, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, you know what this is. I've been trying to get you to watch this for a long time. Well, I know what it is, but I also don't know what it is. Maybe someday when, never we, watch when, we, when we don't work as much, I can get you to watch this, but we won't watch the final season. These big dreams, Mikey, we always talk about them, but when are they gonna become reality or turn into reality? It's just a 60 hour commitment, you know? Yeah. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. Actually, Mikey, let's get a close up here. I want to show this detail. So you have this control right here when you're done watching your movie. There you go, guys. You get the full movie theater experience in this room. Another good space. Now, let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour on the lower level. Now we're back at the landing. By the way, as soon as you'll come down to the lower level. Again, you see the amazing ocean views. On this level, we also have the amazing Infinity Edge pool. We're gonna see that in a minute. But first, before we even talk about this family room here, let's go check out this bedroom right here. This is where we have the office. This is the fourth bedroom on this level, but as you guys can see, it's currently staged as an office. We have the sliding glass doors opening up to the patio space on this level. And as we continue, built-in closets right here, and this door opens up to the full bathroom. Natural stone floors, beautiful natural stone countertops, floating vanity design. I really like the wall sconces here also. And they have this oversized subway tiles going into the walk-in shower with a really unique pattern actually. I kind of like the design they did here with the corners clad with the natural stone. Really cool stone in these bathrooms. I agree. Each one of these bathrooms, they uh, cladded with the unique stones. So I really like that. Each one of the bathroom kind of has its own identity. Now, we're back at the landing. It's a little windy right now, so we close the doors, but you guys get the point. We have the same limestone floors also in this living room area. Again, Fleetwood doors stacking on each side, opening up to the amazing views. We have the high ceilings here. Some built-ins on this side with LED lighting, comfortable seating, overall another great space. Now, this is my favorite part of the home. These double doors open up to the primary bedroom suite. So you guys come on in. We have the bedroom on that side, but before we go there, let's actually go this side right here. We have the built-in closets here and the main walk-in closet is on this side. It's super spacious. We have the island design right in the center with a little bit of a seating bench here. A lot of hangar space, a lot of built-ins, a lot of shoe racks, everything you need. And as we go back, before we tour the bedroom, let's go check out that amazing bathroom, which is right here. First off, Mikey, let's get a close up. We got a little bit of a pocket door right here. What are those handles called? I don't know. I mean, we see those occasionally. I know you like those. Just those no, little... I like, I think I like the sound of it too. So I just like to play with it. Push button handles, yeah. There you go. 
All right, you guys come on in. I like that there's pretty much marble everywhere in this bathroom. We have the beautiful marble floors with this inlay design with these uh, small cuts. Double vanities, let's start here. Nice LED lighting, walnut cabinetry is also here. Beautiful marble countertops with the waterfall edge. And what I really like, they also clad the marble to these columns right here, which is really unique, where we have the wall sconces. And of course, to top it all off, they have a marble vessel sink in each one of the vanities, which is really cool. Now, right behind me, another pocket door going into the uh, water closet. And right here, we have the built-in tub, same LED lighting with a walnut panel, marble clad everywhere, and they have this texture stone finish pretty much as a surround of the entire tub area. You even get some window for some ventilation. Lastly, secondary vanity, same finishes, secondary water closet right here. And going in, this is where we have the walk-in shower. I mean, this shower is simply stunning. I know my voice is echoing a little bit right now. First off, you got this vent glass right here. From the walls to ceilings, the floors, everything is clad with marble. They have this nice mosaic pattern to kind of break the uh, overall marble look. Rain head, your shower head, your body sprays, your handheld, your steam. You have everything in this walk-in shower, not to mention even the bench design on this side. I gotta break you and ask you a question. That mosaic uh, tile design, do they assemble that vertically when it's already on the wall or do they do that on the ground and then lay it into the wall like that? Do explain that a little bit more. So do they stack it up uh -huh. vertically, straight up, uh -huh. or do they do it while it's laying on a flat surface and then they Oh, no, no, it it's wall. one by one, it's mosaic. So this is a 12 by 12 piece. So you go one by one. But to get all the seams perfect and make sure the ground lines are perfectly consistent, that's when the craftsmanship matters. Yeah, it seems like it'd be easier to do that laying down on a flat surface, but I guess... Yeah, but then you gotta bring the whole panel, you gotta have the walls open. That's a lot of logistics that you need to handle. Yeah. All right, now let's go back to the hallway and let's check out this amazing primary bedroom suite. I mean, it's so spacious. We have the king size bed position on this side. You get a bit of a seating area. All these glass doors stack and open up to the amazing patio, but you even have two more windows on each side, bringing a ton of natural light. Mikey, I don't know if we can show it, but I want you to come right here from the bed. I want you to show the audience the view you wake up to or go to bed to every single day. It's amazing. It's stunning. Yeah. I, the wind uh, actually cleared it a little bit. We can see everything a little bit better. Yeah, and the sun's gonna go down um, kind of right behind you in that area. So. I'm sure at sunset, which we'll see in a little bit, you get some amazing light, uh, just kind of making all of LA glow. Exactly. I mean, what an amazing setting. And of course, to cozy up the room, you got your gas fireplace right here. Of course, clad with stone as well, and they even wired everything for your future TV. Now, let's open up these glass doors and check out the backyard. All right, guys, let's go talk about this patio space backyard off of this level. First off, we got the glass doors stacked on that side, opening up the primary bedroom to the patio space. We have the amazing indoor outdoor flow. We get a bit of a patio on this section right here with built-in barbecue. Staircase on this side coming from the street level. So if you have parties over here and you wanna bring people to this patio level, they can come straight down from this side or the staircase on the other side. Same limestone floors are also here. And as we continue, we have the covered patio right here. Secondary staircase off of the second floor coming down here as well. And right above us, we have the space heaters, recessed lights, built-in speakers, family room opening up to the patio space as well. And lastly, we have the gas fireplace right here, TV wiring, perfect place for you to entertain. Now, let's talk about this crazy infinity edge pool. I mean, when you have a view like this with the ocean and the city, it calls for an infinity edge pool. We got the plaster, deep end is on this side, nice coping tile pretty much throughout, and they use the same tile to wrap around the spa as well. Again, amazing, amazing views. Mikey, what do you think? Uh, it's it's hard, to, hard to argue with that statement. These are some of the best views we've ever seen. I agree, there's something about when you have the ocean and the city view. Again, on the clear day, you can see all the way to downtown Los Angeles, which is amazing or Malibu. And can we? Can I also have the iPad, please? Let's check out some of the features of this pool. Number one, let's start the jet. We have the edge pump and water feature. So spa is on that side, and soon we're gonna see the spa uh, jets come in. We also have the deck jets. 
which are rising up right now. And soon, the pool is going to overflow uh, to the infinity edge. I mean, this is a vibe right here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really cool. I didn't even know those jets were there. Overall, this is a phenomenal view. Actually, let me turn the jets off. Mikey, why don't you pick this up right here? Overall, this house offers incredible outdoor space. I mean, on the second floor, lower level, we have this amazing infinity edge pool. These views are to die for from the ocean all the way to the city. Also, guys, I feel like sometimes I'm a little bit biased about these amazing views because I live in Los Angeles, but Mo, what do you think? Yo, have you seen this view, guys? <laughs> this is insane. You have an infinity pool, the beach, and the city. I, I don't mean, know what to say. It doesn't get much better, right? It doesn't. Like, you have everything. You're you, on top of the world. You get all the views. So tell me, you like the city view, ocean view, or this pool setup because it's pretty cool? Ah, oh, I just love everything. You have, like, you can see everyone surfing. You can see everyone tanning. You can even get yourself, like, a little microscope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Checking Amanda. this property. Wow. All right, guys, let's continue our tour. As we go downstairs, we have this fire pit level here. Nice built-in seating. We have the fire pit right in the center. Another great outdoor space to enjoy these amazing views. Now let's go downstairs. As if all that outdoor space wasn't enough, you even get this lower level right here where you have a flat pad basically, perfect for parties. And from here, we can take a really good look at the overall exterior architecture of the home. Again, lower level, we have the flat space. Then we have the infinity edge pool and the patio. Glass doors all opening up to the interiors. And of course, top floor, we have the living room kitchen all opened up. Beautiful modern architecture, smooth stucco finish, nice overhang design, overall great home. And this house is built on a 20,000 square foot lot. And I feel like they made a great use out of it by tapering down the entire property, but making good use of each one of the levels. And in this case, just because we're on the lower level, that doesn't mean we're compromising these amazing views. You still get to enjoy it from this level. Now that's pretty much it for our tour, but we're gonna spend a few more hours here so we can see this place at dusk. After that, I'll finalize my thoughts on this house. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. What an incredible property. I love the views. I love Palace Verdes and the outdoor spaces, all these glass walls that this house offers. I feel like you really get the best out of the views. Also the second floor being all open with ton of natural light coming in is a very inviting space. Before we end this video, I really want to thank the developer and the listing agent, Lily Liang, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week.